and liftoff of Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich, continuing a legacy of ocean observation and international collaboration to benefit all humanity. M1 d propulsion is nominal. <laughs> M1 d propulsion is nominal. So there we heard that call for max Q. We also heard vehicle is supersonic, meaning it's traveling faster than the speed of sound. A beautiful shot there from the first stage looking down towards Earth and seeing the, the plume there created by those nine Merlin 1D engines. Beautiful clear skies there from Vandenberg on the ground, able to track with that rocket as you see it on screen now. Just a reminder, coming up here very quickly, we're going to hear booster, or first stage engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Booster separation is there, visible on screen now. Beautiful shot. There's the backflip, as Jesse mentioned, beginning with the, the Falcon booster. Stage one, boost that burn has started. And that second engine looks like it has lit. You can start to see the engine bell there turning uh, an Both orange. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Fairing separation confirmed. And there goes the fairing. That's exposed. That is Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich there on your screen. That is the satellite that has been exposed now because the fairings have been jettisoned and separated. And you just saw it there tumbling away. Some beautiful shots on the way to orbit. And stage one, boost back burn shut down. So we're getting reverse angle views of that engine on screen. That's what you're seeing. Uh, this is switching between opposite ends, opposite sides of that second Both stage. Vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectory. And that term nominal being used, uh, we've heard that a lot during this call out. Uh, the, that's a very good sign. Nominal just means that everything is going according to plan with, within the expectation of operation for the vehicle. So we are, oh, there, a great shot from the first stage. Uh, you can see the hypersonic grid fins there that are expanded, um, those honeycomb-shaped structures. As the booster begins to enter the atmosphere, those will be able to help guide and stabilize the booster to make sure that we hit that pinpoint landing like we heard that question asked. Uh, how do we ensure pinpoint landing? And those grid fins play a huge part in that. That second stage is in the middle of its first burn. Uh, this burn will last uh, approximately six and a half minutes. And then there will be a long coast phase today. And then we will have a very short, uh, or a relatively short, second stage, second burn to put us in the correct orbit to follow that, that path of the Jason series, as we heard earlier. So, Philip, from a trajectory perspective, is this just kind of a moment?